Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Vaccine eligibility in New Hampshire expands to those age 30 and up on Wednesday. All Granite Staters age 16 and up eligible on April 2nd. Vaccine eligibility in New Hampshire will expand once again on Wednesday today with Granite Staters age 30 and up able to register for an appointment today. By the end of the week on April 2nd, vaccine eligibility will open to everyone in New Hampshire over age of 16. Monday started with those age 40 and up. I think it's just another step in the right direction. I'm looking forward to seeing friends and family again, said a Granite Stater. The Granite Stater also said he is in his 30s and wants to get the vaccine as soon as he can. It's everyone's preference what they want to do, but if it's available, I think people should take the opportunity and do it, he said. But while some are not on board with the vaccination, doctors have stressed the importance of taking these steps to keep others safe. I understand that some people may think that they might not die from this in they will be fine, but we have to remember what our responsibility to our neighbor is. They might be fine, but they may spread it to someone who's not fine. Chief Medical Officer at Catholic Medical Center, Dr. Michael Gilbert said, Gilbert said, there is a risk at any age to develop serious sy symptoms, and he has seen a rise in younger people being hospitalized. Some of them are turning into the long haulers who have chronic symptoms that go on for months, and we don't know what the ramifications are going to be for them, he said. We can only support and encourage and that at the end of the day, as a community, we all have to do our part and for a majority of the people in the state doing their part in, is getting vaccinated. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.